So the Obama administration struck a nuclear deal with Iran, but that doesn't mean that Congress is going to agree. Here's what Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer had to say about the agreement, and I quote, the disproportionality of this agreement makes it more likely that Democrats and Republicans will join together and pass additional sanctions when we return in December, end quote. I've got editorial page editor Paul Gigo here to discuss Congress and also the deal itself. Um, Paul, just, just to begin, what was your reaction when you saw that deal announced on Saturday? Uh, it was a bad deal. <laughs> Uh, likely to get worse, as the headline on the op-ed said. I think it's a victory for uh, uh, Iran, uh, but j takes a giant step towards becoming what I would call a de facto nuclear power, which means they may not actually explode a device, but they'll be allowed to continue doing the work that gets it just to the threshold. I'd like to address the quote that I just put up on the screen by Chuck Schumer, who said that this deal might actually bring Democrats and Republicans together in Congress to oppose it. What do you make of that? Well, there's been a uh, bipartisan support for sanctions all along. That's why it has uh, passed. They passed it several iterations over the objections privately expressed of the president. But he had such an overwhelming vote, Democrats and Republicans, that he went along uh, in the past. Um, some of this is unfortunately now, I think, um, a little bit for show because I don't, I think the fix is in. I talked to a Republican senator today who thinks that, yeah, there will be some votes, but there'll be nothing that the Congress will do that will actually interfere with this negotiations for the next six months. The most it might do is pass something that would trigger if the negotiations collapse at the end of six months, which I don't expect because I expect the president will make whatever concessions uh, are necessary to get a deal. Does this deal, and if it plays out like you say it will in Congress, Congress does very little, does that make an Israeli strike on Iran more likely? Well, it's a very interesting question. I mean, I think that Israel has some very hard calculations to make. There are those who think that this deal and the negotiation process boxes the Israelis in, gives them less flexibility because it would, the consequences of acting would be, uh, might be isolating for Israel. Uh, might have more, more, certainly it would be more, it would have more consequences because they would be blamed by a lot of its friends um, now. On the other hand, if it waits until the plutonium reactor at Iraq uh, is, uh, is developed, then I think that, uh, then it's too late. So it, it, it's a very difficult set of, 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 of issues that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu has to balance. Uh, the Brookings Institution's Michael Duran had a fascinating op-ed uh, just out in these last hours. He, he sees the deal, and I quote, as a long and bloody road that is the American retreat from the Middle East. Do you agree with that broader context, that fits, statement? I think it fits into that uh, context, yeah. I mean, I think that this, look, if you listen, if you read the president's statement uh, in reaction to the, to the agreement, he made very clear that he does not think that military action is... Uh, uh, not only not desirable, we all agree with that, but is really off the table. I think he came very close to just taking it off the table. Iran recognizes that, and therefore it's in a stronger position uh, negotiation-wise. If you combine this with Syria and our retreat there, this, uh, Assad knows that he's, the U.S. is not going to take any military action, even a small action against him. Um, so, and you look at what the Saudis have been thinking in their own calculations. We had a fascinating a interview. interview with uh, one yeah. of the Saudi princes saying that, uh, you know, we, we see American retreat. And I think it does fit into that. Uh, that. Now, whether that continues and if we get another president, I don't know. But clearly Obama is, uh, is signaling we, we're going to... We just don't have the stomach anymore or interest to, uh, to, uh, to play a, a very big role. Scary Times, editorial page editor Paul Gigo, thanks very much.